Welcome to the Crucial Classics Bring Your Own Copy series, where what we do is watch movies together. We are going to watch all of the biggest titles from that golden age of Hollywood. So join me as we will sync up, press play at the same time, and let's just enjoy the magic from this golden age of Hollywood. Hi, and welcome back to Crucial Classics, and if this is your first time here, definitely welcome and take a look around at our channel. We have plenty of content for you to binge. If you love classic old movies, then you've come to the right spot, because what we do is watch them together from start to finish. Let's start by looking at the wall of my living room. And it's decorated like this just because old movies are that important to me for the past 31 years. So today's title is the first of two that we are going to watch just to honor legend Angela Lansbury and you know it was really amazing to hear about her passing because I think what becomes really cool about getting to that age you know most of us won't do it right um it was you know when you're just like a respectable elder statesman I just that's really just you have honestly earned the title of being an elder statesman simply for the fact that you're still here so in all honesty and absolutely with no disrespect about it it was like finding out that she had passed away it was like wow she was still alive I really didn't even know that you know um there I feel like there are a few of these people that we can watch in this golden age of Hollywood movies that are still here but I love that they're just so respectable that they are, you know, just very quiet and just living out life peacefully, right? So in 96, I mean, that's in no way, shape, or form anything to lead with like mourning a tragic loss, right? It's like, oh my gosh, she was granted and graced with a lot of life. Um, I remember my grandpa passed away at 80. and. You know, I knew him for 17 years, and it was really cool. Like, as he was, you know, you just have that age tied to your name, and it's like, you you know that you're looking at living history, right? When somebody gets to be that old. It always, like, trips me out to be able to say that my grandpa was born in 1916. That's so many generations back. World War One is still going on. Like, I'm a history buff. Like, I just really like to pay attention to stuff. That it's like, wow, your ancestors, your direct ancestors that you love, ancestors that you love to death, like, lived through those times, you know? So, um, yeah, Angela Lansbury, what I'm excited about, these two titles that we're going to watch, and I'll keep the second one until we get to it, but this one is a first-time watch for me. And so there was a really cool, it's about a 13-minute little um, interview that New York Times did with her a couple of years back and they're actually speaking to her so that was really cool I didn't necessarily want to see a montage of her it was really cool to hear her speaking and so she's nominated for an Academy Award three times the first one guys is her first movie which we have on the channel also check out Gaslight that's her first movie and also her first Academy Award nomination and she explained right we know the story she's coming over here she comes over here her mother had been an actress in England. Father had passed away of cancer. So, and then World War II started. It was just safer for them to get over here to America. Luckily, they were able to do that, right? They said it was like a dangerous ship ride over here for them to get here. Um, because we know that like those waters between here and Europe were getting attacked in kind of before we entered the war. But like that was dangerous passage for a while there. So they made it here safely and um, I think pretty immediately they were coming to Hollywood. Um, it's interesting though because by the time later into the 60s when she goes to uh, Broadway and kind of really performs there primarily for the last part of her career there, they say she went back to the stage. So she was only 17. When we see her in Gaslight, she's 17. She said she was 17 in that movie, and she didn't understand how she was able to pull off the little hoe that she is in that movie. <laughs> she serves us that, okay? She's a hell of a movie. And she said she didn't understand how she was able to pull it off because she didn't have any boyfriends. She didn't know nothing about the world, and she's like, and I served that I did. She's like, because I was an actress. And just kind of speaking about herself, she was primarily more of an actress than a pretty face to be like a leading lady in Hollywood. She said they were not grooming her to 
would be that above the title of the movie star people this is our language right like we know that significance we just saw that with Marilyn Monroe by 1953 she got to come in above the title actually did she come in above the title but anyway she came in top billing and so those types of things right like that's a grooming and a progression in your career that you're working towards she said she wasn't on the path to doing that and I wanted to know what studio did she land her contract with and it's MGM and we'll see that we'll see Louis the Lion as soon as we push play here um but yeah, she came in very young with her mother, her mother being an actress. Here's a little tidbit of trivia. I know what I'm talking about when I talk to you guys. Her mother, I feel like people, the movie I want to say that this is in, but I'm not quite sure if that's connecting, is The Clock with Judy Garland and Jennifer Jones' husband. But, oh, that's good. What was his name? You know what I mean? That little man. Um, there is a C. If it's not The Clock, because I'm trying to recall, like, where in The Clock is that happening? But anyway, I know the scene. There's some scene in a movie where there's a lady sitting at um, a lunch counter, a dinner counter, in a diner. And she is eating, like, peas. And she's doing her fork very delicately. And that's Angela Lansbury's mother. So, you know, they were an acting little family. And she came in. She got her career, her contract with MGM. I looked it up. They said she made 40 films. I don't know that they were all with MGM. If they weren't grooming her to be an A-list star, I would actually be surprised if from 44, which is Gaslight, her first film, through to the 60s, they said she makes films and does about 40 of them. Then she really takes herself back to Broadway, starts winning her Tony Awards, because she's just able to act, right? So she kind of was more in control of her career there and just decided to kind of just change the focus, I think, and be more in control of the type of roles that she was performing. Um, it's interesting because I feel like she was finally just playing age-appropriate roles because she said kind of the landmark of her film career is they were always casting her in roles like 20 she was always playing somebody's mother when we know she wasn't that old she started in 44 at 17 so she wasn't like a 40 year old lady for most of her career yet that's probably what she was serving as it's because she was a good actress so I think I started out saying the roles that she was nominated Oscars for. Gaslight. The next one is this one. First time watch for me. I've never seen it. I'm excited about that. Third one is The Manchurian Candidate. Here's another interesting little bit of trivia about that movie. I get it directly from Frank Sinatra. There's a really cool video here on YouTube. Frank Sinatra doing an interview with Larry King. They, I feel like they said it was his last interview that he kind of ever did. Turns out... And Frank Sinatra had no idea about this, but in his negotiation and his contract for being a part of that movie, his people, that's what he was saying. This is why he had no idea about it. And he said he didn't like to be necessarily, like, hands-on in the business aspects of his career. He wanted to focus on the singing and the acting. Um, you know, he, he really was like, I tried to do... He got... To, he became every role that he performed. He was talking about becoming the detective in that movie. We're going to have to find... I want to watch that movie. We might have to watch it on the member site. I'm going to circle back to that. I need to thank somebody for a blessing on the member site. Um, but he negotiated something with his contract that he had the rights to the movie. So Gary, Gary King, Larry King is saying, you know, just to let everybody know and everybody's all excited and there's a lot of buzz in the industry, this movie is finally being released on, I feel like it had to be video cassette. But it's like it's been gone for like 20 years. It like basically came out and then it's been just, you know, nobody could find it. Nobody had access to it. And Frank Sinatra, turns out, is the one that had the rights to the movie, had absolutely no idea. <laughs> and he didn't realize, you know, that like it had gone away and he was in control of that and that people kind of had a, a desire to be able to access it. So it was this big deal that they were finally putting it out on video cassette, and then, you know, it's it's allowed to be aired. We have access to it. Um, it, there, it cycles on and off of being free with ads here on YouTube. Um, that's a deep one. It's a hard one. That's an intense movie, people. I've purposefully not watched that one with you guys, but I think we may need to do that because um, she, Angela Lansbury, was also speaking about that being her third Academy Award nomination. And the first two, she said she was too early and in, too young. You know, she was actually glad that she didn't win those. She kind of felt like there's a curse. Getting the Oscar too early in your career, you don't know what to do after that. So she really did not get tied down with that. By the time, I feel like that movie comes out in 63, Manchurian Candidate, she had a, a different desire to be recognized like that. And who won the Oscar was Patty Duke. So she was up for Best Supporting Actress, and we know that's the night that Anne Bancroft and Patty Duke won for The Miracle Worker, also a title that's available here on this channel. Do the watch along of that one. Um, but she was disappointed. She said, like, she, it was a difficult night for her. She, and I feel like that may have kind of been her turning point of deciding that she maybe wanted to step out of Hollywood a bit and just be able to act. And it's interesting because when she goes and gets onto Broadway, she wins so many Tony Awards, and she does it for a very long time. Um, you know, that's the thing about Angela Lansbury. 
how she really stopped working. She said she didn't ever plan on retiring. She said she would probably pass away with her script in her hand, you know, learning her script. And so that's why it's not a deep sadness. It's just an amazingness of like, wow, she was still alive, guys. You know, like what a great life that she lived. She had three beautiful children. Um, she explained that in the 60s, her career took a toll on her family, she said, and she was like, just due to the social history stuff that was going on in our society, she's like, her kids got caught up in the stuff that kids were kind of just starting to get caught up into, kind of heavy at that time. She said at that point in society, too, there was also no, no recourse. She's like, as parents, we had no idea what to do to, like, get them back on track. So she moved the family over to Ireland. She said she found 20 acres piece of property over there and took everybody just to a simpler place and time and the family got back on track and I feel like you know everything was good to go she was married to her husband for like 53 years check out her first husband was the dude that is Ted in Jezebel one of the highest viewed videos on this channel I have a spoiler alert of that a walkthrough podcast version of that movie because that's definitely not one I keep my eyes peeled on that one we're gonna watch that one eventually that one more than likely is gonna have to go up on our member site because I'm not fine in that movie but we'll watch that um so Ted from Jezebel is Angela Lansbury's first husband they only lasted a year she said she was the last one to understand what was really going on with his life so they parted ways and she said she felt like her life was gonna end that. She said she was so in love with him. He is so handsome. You just, just see the photos of him. It was like, you could see how she got very caught up in him. But the marriage lasted a year. And they said that same year that she divorced, she actually met her next husband. But they got married in 49. And then they were together until her husband passed away. I feel like it was in further into 2000s. So, yeah, that is just a really cool uh, legend from the game, right? Because she hit hard and successfully and as a legend from jump right one of those people first role nominated she easily could have won right like that actually could have been the course that her life took because the very next movie she's also being highly acclaimed like that she was an actress so i'm very um, curious to see what this movie is going to entail the next movie that we're going to watch of her decades later you know she steps out of film of course in the time that she's doing that in hollywood like the opportunities are scarce for women my age and then older, right? So she just, I feel like these legends went to Broadway at that time, right? Like that time frame, the 70s. These major stars that are actresses at heart, they're not prepared to just be having to wrap up their acting career because Hollywood is not able to come up with things for them to do. They take themselves to Broadway and they thrive there, right? So she's Beauty and the Beast in the 90s, right? I never saw one episode of Murder, She Wrote, but they say that's the longest running mystery show on TV. Um, they also said, though, that she never won an Emmy for that. She was nominated, I feel like they said almost every year, and she never won an Emmy for that. And I know that, like, into her 80s, they said at 83, she won an uh, Tony for something that she did. <laughs> so, you know, it, that's an amazing, legendary life. We all could only wish, right? Like, that's goals. That's goals. So, all right. That's what I just want to say in honoring Angela Lansbury. Just really, really great to look up her, the details on her. It's very inspiring. And yeah, I cannot wait to take it all the way back to the beginning and catch a movie of hers from my sweet spot, the 40s, you know, and see something that I've never seen before. First time watch. So ways that I suggest that you do this with me is one screen. Here's what I suggest. Two tabs if you don't have connectivity. That's pulling me into one tab, the movie into another. They lock side by side. You can make the movie take up more of the screen. Then you take an HDMI cable from your computer into your TV. Boom there you go one screen your biggest screen you have casting now here becomes the ideal you launch your movie push play pause it scrub it back to zero that way you know you're in control you've tested it out you know it's gonna play you know if anything pops up you let that happen get that all set up full screen on your device your TV and you've started it out because you've casted your computer to your TV okay so launch the movie get that full screen you can kind of pull it down or move it over to the side whatever come back to this video of me play on TV picture in picture I'm shrinkable floatable now you move me you get your movie back situated you move me into the corner of the film and that is always the ideal way that I recommend that you're watching these watch alongs I, I have a member site <gasps> thank you so much and I have no shame to say this today I got my first purchase on my member site I've had it up for six months it is the execution of 
thinking it out, mapping it out, getting my colors, choosing my font, everything <laughs> that I had. I said it was like setting up a website, people. I didn't, I, you know, am going through a site that handles a lot of this stuff for me, but as far as the appearance of it and everything, I set up that site. And I did some titles and I got some content up there, but here is some inspiration I just want to let you guys know about too. I don't know if you guys know of the cosmetic line called It Cosmetics. I've seen um, It Cosmetics journey on that over the air shopping network. The founder of it explained her journey. Like her and her husband came up with the products launch. They created their own little website. They were so proud to have it up and running. They launched it and she said, for like five months they didn't make a sale finally one day the sale came through she got so excited and she goes to let her husband know and he's like yeah I just bought it because I was testing the site to make sure it actually works right like if somebody wanted to buy it would it go through would we be notified would we you know so he was like yeah that was me so she ended up selling that thing for billions of dollars okay like it started you started over here now we're here and there is no shame in believing in yourself doing that execution work and just here's what I love about my site I am doing it I maintain it every title that I watch here I post over there real time on Johnny on the spot making a separate professional beautiful thumbnail putting the necessary text in it's not half ass over there people it's up and running and it's legit the only thing it's just my focus has been on this channel this channel has been where I've seen my growth and so I've put my energy into this the paid site is something that I need to focus more on as an opportunity but I really just want to thank the person that did the first rental purchase of Roman holiday over there that's a blessing and I'm very touched I've always let you guys know that I would just consider it a blessing it's just it's encouraging I know that it's from a place in your heart that's just showing me support and I really and truly appreciate that so I definitely have created a new schedule for myself of watching and posting and once a week is a day that's dedicated for getting titles up over there so let me let you know what the next two titles are that are going to go up on that site um, as the member exclusives portion of it the godfather one and two because right now this month of october i see that both of those titles are free and available over on the pluto site which is a great accompanying site that we have made heavy use of throughout the titles that we've been watching over here um so those are available for free no sign up needed you, you guys know how to navigate get over there hopefully i've turned you on to it it's a fun time great major titles are always over there so including the godfather and godfather part two totally for free right the payoff is that they do have ads that are included but we have gotten very trained an ad pops up in your playback over there you just pause me wait till the ad is done you push play back on me we're back in perfect sync so that will be just kind of a freebie that I'm giving to you guys hooking you up letting you know exactly where you can access your copy of those titles to do the watch along with me over on the member site and again the member site five dollars a month gives you unlimited access to everything that's going on over there that is every title that is on this channel so far completely ad free forever over there including probably seven or eight titles that I just couldn't roll the dice of re-uploading back over here on YouTube um, they're over there so go ahead and if you really enjoyed some of the titles that you notice are not back up over here they're over there they always will be and yeah I just am so tickled I'm so encouraged and here's what I'm also gonna give myself the freedom of you guys are my loves you are my family you're my main channel right this is where I want to put my dedication into you know I'm not going anywhere we I look at my analytics I can see like I said the weekend is a sweet spot for us and again I don't need to like oversaturate this channel with five movies a week and I don't want to like overwhelm you guys with stuff that you can't kind of feel like you can't keep up right so the weekends we see is the sweet spot I am just very encouraged I want to stay very um efficient you know what I mean like I want to be industrious I'm not trying to be twiddling my thumbs here at home so I have decided to create that new TV series reactions channel it is different content I didn't want to take advantage of you guys and just take more not crucial classic brand content and plop it on this channel because oh we've got 2400 subscribers right here and you guys are gonna watch that for me no I didn't want to force that down your guys's throat so 
If you guys do just want to continue to spend more regular time with me, though, that's the option and really the mission of why I created it. But I'm just going to test that out, guys. I'm going to take a looky-loo. You know, I'm taking a look-see. If I see that it is, you know, diminishing returns, right, and, like, way too much of my time and energy going into something that, just for whatever reason, is not going to translate the way that this successfully did, then I give myself permission to say, you know what? then I'm not going to do that um, four or five days a week, you know what I mean? And we need to, we're, that may need to be an L, and we just keep it moving, we regroup, and then I could maybe do a poll with you guys about would you guys be open to me including The Sopranos right here on this channel? Would you guys be open to episodes of The King of Queens? You know, those shows that I have going on over there, would you be open to that content being posted right here? Um, because I could do that. I can be spending a lot more time with you guys. Just that shorter form content is what makes it doable for me without complete burnout. I'm just letting you know, I would not be uploading five of these two-hour movies a week, okay? It's, it's, the turnaround time is not realistic with that. So uh, that's why TV shows is what's up. Uh, there could be some other TV shows that we could explore to do more on brand right here on this channel. But yeah, so I'm just venturing, just trying a new venture on that new channel. You know, I know I need to give it sometime, but I ain't gonna be sitting a year from now and got like eight subscribers over there, okay? So if you guys do also want to just continue to spend that regular time with me for free, people, there's nothing that you have to pay for in order to come kick it with me over on that site too. And just be a helpful, supportive YouTube user and subscribe to me. If you guys are making use of The Sopranos, check this out. So I'm a brand new channel over there. This is only my second week of having that channel. That first watch along of The Sopranos probably right now is at 100 views. Now, come on now, people. That is indicative of a well-enjoyed video, and I need to get some subscribers uh, based on that. <laughs> I don't have the subscriber translation yet. Now, I know it's, you know, realistic for it to take a little bit of time, but people have to kind of be that minded to be a supportive YouTube user, and I am letting them know, um, not in a chastising type of a way, but in a, you know, help us the out type of way, like, I'm not volunteering, right, so that's what I'm just, you know, I'm not going to do this tons of expenditure of my energy for absolutely no return on it, people, so that could be something that's going to continue on, and it could be wrapping up, you know, sooner than later, we're going to see, I ain't nobody got half a year to be putting into some shit that's not, you know, giving you some type of return on that investment of the time, so that's just what's going on, let's get started to watch this title, I cannot wait, this one will probably have been sped up because I can see it's kind of, you know, getting a little long, and uh, let's... Let's honor Angela Lansbury. Ready to go. Okay, so you've already seen my little graphic on the screen. I've got a runtime of an hour 15. I think it's 17. It goes back and forth once you let the second start. So anyway, playing in three, two, one, click. This is the heyday of MGM, right? I'm eating an apple. I feel like I got some in my teeth. Is this going to be mostly um, English actors? Okay, when she first comes to Hollywood, it was to audition for this. George Sanders. Donna Reed. I was seeing her in the pictures. Peter Lawford. Wow. And instead of proceeding to come and audition right away for this role with her mother, she got swept over to meet George Cukor to talk about Gaslight. Okay, I haven't seen that guy's name yet for the square paintings of Dorian Gray. Okay, um, so this is a person. I feel like the only place I've ever heard reference to Dorian Gray is in the Seven Year Itch. Costume supervision by Irene. Men's costumes are by Valles. We've seen him before. Mac makeup created by Jack Don. Okay. It's going to be period, right? So, Dorian Gray is like a thing. Um, What? It's in 1886, okay. That was deep. It's just like, what? That was a little allegory for life. Oh, cool. This is looking a lot like Gaslight. And there's George Sanders. He's usually...
an a-hole. Is this him? Oh, he's just a meddler. Oh, that's cool. He literally read that man. Something about a painting. Oh. So he was coming in anyway. Oh, this guy is a painter. Okay. He's not addressing him at all. Okay. Adonis. Why does he have to go into the car? So, this guy is not anybody's real friend. Oh. He is a real person. Yeah. Wow. So, is this... Dude, his enemy. I got a pretty good time to hear somebody talking of riddles to them like that. Who's this lady in there? Yeah, you're a toxic person, right? Get your hooks into him. This is a Dorian Gray.
Is he rich to do that? Friends. Oh. I'm glad that thing got away from him. This guy has too much dialogue. He's gonna put the butterfly in this right away? Well, that's all <laughs> this guy is he's making me zone out Boy, he got an extreme knot going on. Is this the same day? It's gotta be days later. <laughs> Who's at the door? his little girl. Okay, let's wrap up George Sanders. <laughs> oh. But he's all, oh, how cool. I thought that other picture we were seeing so much was him. This is, wow, that was so. And the picture to grow old.
now he said this is for Dorian. Like he wasn't selling it or putting it on display. How cool. So it's because the Egyptian cat statue is chilling right there that something is happening. Oh, he's just making use of his youth. He is very impressionable then. <clears throat> I mean, it's like, okay, that old dude, George Sanders, is talking all kinds of crap, but you have to use discernment to understand, like, whose words you're going to, like, get up into your mind and start messing with you. You're giving him no good advice. Go, be a manhole, you know, <laughs> go explore everywhere. Sow your wild oats everywhere. Because in 45, they were doing Technicolor. They were doing it since the 30s, right? Will we continue to see that color? It seems like only when he looks at the picture, huh? Seriously, like, he's... This is what he's doing right now. Like, he's coming to these little dives. Is this where he's gonna? Is this Angela? Okay. That's her singing. She wouldn't be impressed by him. Well, he wants donations. Oh, he's giving her her snow. I thought he was going to take that around to collect <laughs> tips. No, like necessary. I think we could get it, you know, without it. <laughs> oh, 
Why did she stop singing? So Dorian Gray is supposed to be giving us like the just perfect specimen. Oh, is she gonna meet him? Is she gonna be down to meet him? I think that he could tell that. just alone. That's her mother. That's why she said her and her mother came to audition for this and immediately they were being, she was being taken to meet George Cukor for the Gaslight movie. though isn't she said she was gonna do it but then she changed her mind no she's singing it why did she apologize for her she's singing it she just went out to the stage who's playing I thought she said nobody could play for her that old dude Is this his own son? Is this her man? He does not like that she's giving a private show, huh? Ooh, wherever he is. Closed up right now. It's after hours, like it's after. He said, Dude's been coming every night for two weeks, and what this is the night that they're normally closed or something, and he just came to give her some Liberace. So, this he okay. There's going to be a problem, but what? Oh, he could definitely play the little um, gold cage song, right? He didn't write it, but Chopin did. He can play Chopin. Hmm. She didn't love him back. Why is he tripping over this? Yeah, exactly. She's also young. Okay. <gasps> oh, the dude is standing there. 
Is he her brother? Oh, he's walking out. Is he her affianced? Yeah, she forgot about him, huh? That other dude. Oh, so he's just leaving, he's not saying Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what's what's the matter? Okay. They don't have a dad. He's... I heard this her say that line. Yeah, he's going to Australia. About as far away as he could go. So she really does not know his name. So now he's going to get a bird in a gold cage. Oh, for her? A little yellow bird in a gold cage. Yeah, I was going to say, I thought he was married. It's not good enough for him. Okay, so he's always talking about youth.
It was not his wife. Is, is he going to offer that? I don't know that he need to ever be paying attention to the crap that he's talking. That look, why are the feathers still on the birds? speech that he's given to him about anything. Is this him? No. What is it, the ghetto? Okay. It's like as if that's what makes her so attractive to Dorian is how toxic he knows this dude would spout out about anything to do with her. Is he not clapping? Of course you don't. with all of them. Because it isn't in his house, is it? Or, yeah, no, it is, huh? Because he gave it to him. Dude that painted it. Is this Dorian's house? By himself with her?
she needs to leave. Okay. So they are at Jude's house. Where is he? So he has not proposed to her. Oh, well. She looks awfully ashamed. Say, is she walking that slowly out of the hallway? Okay. <clears throat> Dude said now would be the time that he would go and propose to her. This poor little thing, she's a good little girl. Why is he acting like that? Dorian, she's doing what you wanted her to do, to know that you want to marry her. And this is not his house either, right? opportunity to see each other although oh not the way he was making it that's not supposed to be the premise right like if she won't stay with him does he see her he already knows that she's standing right there yeah Does he look up shocked or he just knows she's right there? Dorian, I'm about to say, look at her. Here's her picture. Is he married?
down. The portrait is in his house. Yeah, this, okay. So girl is going to leave his house. Yeah. Did, had she ever seen the portrait? No, she wanted to. He, she could see it tonight at his house. Older. just goes to show what was I saying poor little thing as she was at the doorway you could leave there can be an opportunity to see this fool again in the daylight right and go you you leave at two o'clock and if you are meant to see him again in the daylight you'll do that because she compromised and wow his soul and there's the cat this is a creepy AF movie this is really in line with Halloween right <laughs> Just the moral themes of the code, right? Like what the consequences are of breaking the code. Okay. In slight little lines in the forehead. Yeah, if he better go get his girl. He ain't sent it yet. Oh, this talks are full.
Oh, does he have news about Vane? Sybil? She hurt herself, huh? Is she on the front pages or something? She was so sweet. She cried. Yeah, it was this serious of a theme. Mm. If she's already gone from this movie, Precious little tears that she was shedding. Oh my gosh, are you about to get hit with that cat or something? Yeah. Um, Dorian, don't go. Is this dude really real? Like, he's the devil, right? And he is, like, on this shoulder of Dorian because he's got him too wrapped up. He's filth, huh? Read him for filth. Yeah, he's horrible. He went to the opera? We're always seeing things so far off in this. His pride and his guilt made him assume an air of indifference. Great.
Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Evil. The Bible. <laughs> Equivalent. Is he ready? Will he melt if he does? Does she come back to haunt him? Like, she was in this for very little to have been nominated. Does he go move the screen? Well, like, you, it's his painting, but you can't just be coming up in somebody's house. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's not your house, though, dude. recover okay, so th that's why I was tripping it was like where is this portrait and this fool coming up in here I was gonna display it next month well fool it's chilling in his house so he's gonna move it into a locked room He's, he did not want to remain for an hour in a room that his friends have access to. Okay. And then it has a lock. Okay. He covered it up and made them move it. Okay. I was wondering how he was going to get it up there himself. Oh, he had seen it. There's a cover on it, right? <laughs> is he coming over to take off this cover? This movie is a trip. Stainless purity, Oh. 
he's using his sunscreen. Where's Donna Reed? What are dreadful places? Just little dives? I was wondering if we were going to get a good haunting by Angela Lansbury. Well, do we get to see it again? That's why we had to hear so much shit talking from George Sanders in the beginning. Is that still Sybil's picture? Oh, there's Donna Reed. That little girl is grown up. What's it gonna say? Mm. Oh, many years ago. What's the answer, Dorian? Oh. Oh, he loved her very much. Oh. Who is in the door? <laughs> is this this toxic snake? Peter Lover. <laughs> Keep on using the word evil around him. Huh? Boy, that is a thing that's going on with this movie. I've already said it. It's just like we keep getting the long shot. 
And what the creepiness is this? A little show? Okay. So, I mean, everybody else is aging around him, but he literally is not aging. <clears throat> the only reason I said that before is, like, it looks like a statue from this vantage point. And it was like, that could be happening in <laughs> this movie, that a statue is moving. Oh, she's proposed to him now. Um, what are the stories? Oh, evil. I just, yeah. You know what? Uh, uh, no, yeah. I mean, I'm scared. Somebody ain't always gonna be getting described as evil. And I'm gonna, like, test that. Okay, well, um, why is he putting that necklace on her? He doesn't know how to do that. He doesn't know how to love. It's really creepy the way Sanders has just molded him into this. He was, what did he say, stainless purity. And that's what was, like, drawing everybody into looking at his portrait and shit and then we had that very long over talking speech by Sanders and now he's just evil. Yeah. Oh, he'd be studying all the evil stuff. Okay. Yeah, that man gave him the equivalent of the Bible and he wouldn't read it, right? <laughs> yeah, he didn't read that book ever. <laughs> Is David there? Okay. Who is this? Is that David? He's just creeping through his house, huh? <laughs> oh. Okay. Probably not. <laughs> notices that necklace so she proposed to him and um, he just gave her the necklace but it was a firm no a hard no because he's evil are you going back over to this book oh, that, that was it right there Well, he's sparing her. Good for him. Okay. Uh oh. The man who painted the picture. Basil. Who is Basil? This is the dude that painted his picture. Okay. I was gonna say Gladys, that's his niece. I was, Sybil is on my mind. <clears throat> the fog will get into the house. That's a thing that can happen. He knows about his picture. He knows what his picture does. You're evil.
who knows? Why um, would he not know what it is, though? What is going on? That, yeah. What are these charges? Mm. Oh. Yeah, like homeboy that turned him into this. Oh, now that's, yeah, you better not. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. Good looking out, dude. So he just started with Sybil, and he has not repented. Well, how are you going to do that, dude? Yeah, how? He needs to see the picture. Oh, okay, great. I'm glad that he said that. Oh, is he going to take him to look at the picture right now? Okay, well, they're all true. You just caught us up on stuff that we haven't been party to. you go. I mean, I ain't gonna be coming up in here accusing you of being all this evil and now you gotta take me off to some other room to see something that I just told you only God can see. Um, oh, he's leading the way. You know what? Uh, uh, I'm gonna show this cat. You know what, people? Um, I love the Angela Lansbury was a lot more in this movie. <laughs> Her little tears, though, that was absolutely heartbreaking. Mm. Well, you got a weapon or something handy. You know, what, you scoping out the room for something? Oh, I, mm. Um... Is it going to be in color? Is it going to be in color? Do we see it? Oh, he's just going to stand there doing that. His original painting. So he is just going to stand there and do that over and over again.
scared the shit out of me. And it's in color. standing there. Where's the, where's the knife right now? Is it sticking? In front of that cat. George Sanders. Okay. Get Scoop Gladys up. She gotta be going to France with you. Okay, well, um, you know, you tried to hook him up with that little Buddha book, but I don't think, no, does he know how to meditate, pray? <laughs> Um, don't let her say it. She doesn't need to say that. Okay, well, uh, why is, what about this one? Gladys. People, you're going to see the movie that I am going to upload for Halloween, and you, I told you, you would not be, um, expecting it. On purpose, we don't watch movies like this, okay? I thought Psycho let the charge into shit like this. This room was his stainless purity spot. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. That's what happens when those steps are taken right there. Um, I hope you answer for it in the, the justice system, Dorian Gray. Oh my gosh, so dude was 
on his way to the train. There was not going to be a problem with this luggage. And his something about 12.30. No. They were taking his luggage. He said his people were taking his luggage to the station and everything that he owned was in that bag that he had on him. Gladys is going to be a problem. We were honoring Angela Lansbury. Um, I don't watch movies like this on purpose. Okay, he just left to immediately ring his own doorbell. <clears throat> what became of George Sanders that picture is disgusting is Alan George Sanders he's the one that cast the spell He hasn't seen him in decades. Why does he have this cat? How did he get the cat? The cat was in dude's room that painted the picture. Okay. Who is this? It is not Sanders. Oh, good gosh. <clears throat> so he'll be casting spells as soon as people come into the room. Right. Okay. This is somebody he got tangled up with, that he has something on him. Okay. Okay. Because of what he has on you, Alan. Okay. Mm. Okay. 
Well, he just wrote and sealed a letter. Okay, he's about to go drop. Saying that you did something that I know and I saw and I witnessed and... maybe getting over because they didn't show Angela Lansbury again. It's something between the two of them. Yuck. Agatha? Who's Lord Henry? The dude that is no longer with us. There's George Sanders and Gladys. That is Lord Henry. Oh, he said it that quick in front of everybody and got the nerve, Gladys. Don't dare. Ooh. <clears throat> he already said that he wouldn't let her marry Dorian, even if she didn't marry him. They're married? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No emotion. This is his evil. Okay, uh, was there a letter? Right. 
Okay. Oh, he's sad. Did he say perhaps? I didn't hear what he said. I talked over him. I need what she is wearing. Does he put his arms around her? Okay, he had them around her. Okay. That's the way they're gonna live. Um, could you, uh, could you marry somebody that was such a statue? Oh, he, he doesn't want to go there. It's like the cemetery or something. Oh. Uh, is this the Bible? Okay. Is that Angela Lansbury's brother? Boy, he hasn't aged a minute. And he never saw Dorian's face or he would have, he said. Wow, this is all the way back to Angela Lansbury now. Does he, Dorian didn't see this dude either. Cause she was giving him a private show. He was standing in the wings. Oh, he came out into the room when he was playing the, he remembers the uh, piano playing. That's all he needs to remember. Go get him. Go get him. Down in this area, huh? No reason for this music to be getting played. Oh, he got this rope in his hands. Oh. He knows what happened to his sister and why, huh? Prelude. He remembered that song. Well, what is this song? Because it is not better, and we have all heard this song. Oh, yeah, the other dude that always comes in here, and he'll play it. Well, you're in the haystack, dude. Girl. That? Okay. Um. Uh, 
Oh, well, he is in his soul. That's non-existent. And please, I don't want to see that picture again either. I was tripping. I was like, do we get to see it? Are we going to see it? Who's this? <coughs> Where's your brother? Okay, he said it a little louder. I thought you had already heard that. Yep. Go get him. Sir Tristan. Okay, don't get caught up in that, dude. Justice for Dorian Gray. Okay. This dude is coming up in the back to have Dorian's back. A hundred years old. Why would you know him by the name of Dorian Gray? Oh, he's just gonna write it out and we gotta have this really deafening Sir Tristan. Oh, he's on the hunt now. He's going to Mayfair, Selby. Mm. This is where everybody's coming.
Knocks. People, when I was doing that little job, I was getting up every morning at 6 so that I could just very gently have an hour to drink my coffee, just take it easy, and get myself together, and it was beautiful. Getting up early. First time in my life that I tried that out. It took that little bit much of the stress off of that situation. Who was that? Because he's got multiple crimes. Well, because he's a whole entire executioner. Yeah, they came here to hunt. Show them right. Okay. Okay, I was like, it made a lot of noise. It was a human being. Is the person still alive? Dorian came and was talking to you, dude. Look at him in black. I'm gonna need the movie to be done sooner than later. <laughs> something of vain. <clears throat> well, why are you tripping real hard? Um, you're just gonna go get confirmation and then walk out, right? Like, oh. And then just leave. showing this to us that he does not look the way that um, we had seen him up until this point we just know but it's not because we just saw him like that are you not gonna marry Gladys please Oh, they do make contact. He said goodbye. Dorian, um, like, like I said, I need the movie to be wrapping up sooner than later. Is the, oh, he's just in his carriage. There's Lawford. Okay. Oh, he, he's coming to break it up, huh? He said he wasn't going to let her uh, marry him. Is this his room? Yeah. 
Oh, he got into the room? Yeah, he already said you would do that. Yeah. Did he take a photo of it? He's got it. He's going to pull it out developed. <laughs> what? What's he going to... How is he going to convey <laughs> what there is to see in there? <laughs> okay. What's this? Okay. All right. Okay. All right. You didn't look at the door. Okay, you did see it. And your initial is underneath it. Yeah, there's a G. And an evil. Well, just because they're hearing that that's the picture looks like. Did it have a G underneath it? Did it look like this? Like this? I mean, she sat there and wrote that for a long time for a letter G. She was... Was there a... <laughs> um, okay, it's from Dorian. <laughs> but we need to wrap it up, people, because it was just... Angela Lansbury got nominated for it and bless her little sweetheart because it was so precious but it was a long time ago. <laughs> okay. <anyway. laughs> um, so that's the reason why I'm going to stay away. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I've ever done in my life. <laughs> Does she give it to him? They gonna all need to come look at this picture, huh? But I don't want to see it anymore. It's gonna be in color, and it's gonna be worse. in that room. That room was where his unstained purity took place, but he slashed it up. Okay. Well, you did, Basil. I... Don't show the picture again. I did not want to see this picture again. Um, no. And I don't want to see it. Oh. 
Oh, he gotta get the light to shine. <laughs> Oh, he's just gonna get into philanthropy like Sanders told him not to. Well, how is he gonna do that if he's living across the world? Why is it gonna be a temptation? Okay. Yeah, you got a, a trial that you should need to go stand up for. He's gonna fall on the ground. Do we get the end? And now they come rushing in. Donna Reed and George Sanders and the picture looks just exactly the way it was. So homeboy's gonna be crazy. And he actually did this to Dorian. Um, there's some things you can't unsee, Gladys. There's just some things you can't unsee. I told y'all, we don't be doing spirits. We don't be doing this shit, okay? Um, you know, we don't need to go off on that little spell in the book. in the right spot okay we just didn't know I um all I can say is I uh, had never seen this before first time watching <laughs> and when you think about what Angela Lansbury did give to us it was so precious wasn't she just so sweet and precious oh my goodness it really did make a lasting impression throughout the rest of the 
evil that, um, you know, came after that just sweetness, talking about the stainless purity, right? And, uh, yeah, the next film that uh, we are going to watch, Honoring Angela Lansbury, is one that I um, know by heart. So I know that she's in it throughout, and <laughs> it really is a movie featuring Angela Lansbury, so we will be watching that one next. Please like and subscribe. We don't watch movies like this on purpose, and, uh, yeah. It just so happened to be perfect timing for the month of Halloween and all of that uh, other type of stuff that people thrive on. Like, they they do movies like this every day of the month or every upload of the month that they give you. Um, I did not mean <laughs> to fall in line. And like I said, I will be doing a movie for Halloween, and you guys will see what I'm talking about, that we don't watch movies like this on purpose. Alrighty, <laughs> then. We will see you soon. I need to go get some sage in here. Bye-bye. Thank you guys so much for watching this movie with me. I hope you had as much fun as I did. Hey, hit that thumbs up button for me, especially if you're hearing my voice saying this right now. <laughs> you watched to the end. Um, go ahead and subscribe. Turn on your notifications so you can always be aware of our newest titles to watch together. See you next time.